Good morning. Welcome to this week's Elevate Your Coaching Business. I'm Joanna Holler and I'm a business mentor and sales expert for new coaches that want to sign their first three to five clients and beyond. So basically what I teach is a system that's a step-by-step that will bring in leads for you and then how you get to know them and how you convert them so that you can generate your first clients and that you get to use this system over and over and over again. Um, all of my clients get results, which is amazing. And I'm super proud of that. Today, what we're going to focus on is how you lead yourself, like how you lead yourself in your business. Very often we consider leadership to do with the corporate world and don't actually think about it in the business setting, but it's actually much more prevalent than you would realize because it's in all parts of our life. So like we will talk about mindset a lot, or maybe, you know, if you're a mindset coach, you will talk about mindset and leadership is mindset and mindset. And it is very much the way that you embody yourself. And a motto that I love to live and breathe by is if it's to be, it's up to me. So we've got to constantly be shifting and um, be shapeshifters, like be shape and be moving consistently um, in our lives and our business as we come to our next level, as we face an obstacle, as we face a next level of growth, as we are going towards our goals, we are consistently shifting and moving. And you've got to be really comfortable knowing that that is exactly how it is going to be. So what I what I hear from a lot of people is, oh, it'll be great when I have this. Or um, actually a client of mine said to me there earlier on this week. So when I'm consistent, then everything will fall into place. And what she was referring to with consistency wasn't showing up online, wasn't um, posting every day. It was nothing like that. It was when in her mind that she is consistently getting clients, then it will be different. But the problem with that is, is that you're waiting to get validation. You're waiting to have a result before you decide that you're going to lead yourself in a different way. And this shows up in all areas of our lives, whether it be relationship, health, wealth. Like if you think about it, if you've ever gone on a diet, um, and I hate that word diet, but if you've ever gone on a diet, how often do you stick to it? You probably don't, right? Um, and then you give out about yourself and they decide that it wasn't never was never going to work, but you continue to repeat that pattern. And yes, we will say it's mindset, but how are you leading yourself in that moment in time? Are you 100% committed to what it is that you want to create? Or are you only going to do it until it's comfortable? And then when it's something makes it inconvenient, you stop. And it's the same thing with your business things are going to be inconvenient. Like It's a fact they're going to be inconvenient because life is going to happen as you're setting up your business. And the beautiful thing about it is every time you go to, to your next level. So every time you create something and you're like, okay, that's great. I've done this. And now I get to go to my next level. Your passions and your beliefs are all going to come back. They're going to continue to come back. They don't go away. And I always describe it like whether you're right-handed or left-handed, I'm right-handed, okay? So when I write my name, my name comes out. You can see it. It says Joanna Halloran. All the letters are legible. You can see it. And if I write it with my left hand, if you get a squiggle on the page, you'll be doing well. Like even trying to get the pen on the page and the actual page is challenging because I haven't built up this muscle. So it's the same thing when you're in business and there's something that you want to create. Your commitment to is your consistency with it all matters and all connects to it so it's really important that you know that and know that you're always going to be up leveling you're always going to have a next level to go to and if you are like if you're not comfortable with that or you choose to be not comfortable with it business is going to be hard because it is part and parcel of what you do it's part and parcel of the way you get to operate and it's part and parcel of the decisions that are going to be in front of you that you get to make as a business owner not will you have to do them well I'll see how I feel about them no you're going to have to make them and in order to be successful, the very first thing that you always get to do is to start, well, what's my intention? Like, if you think about it, you've set a goal for your business, for sure. And most people set a monetary goal, but what they don't set, what they don't then do is break down how that monetary goal is going to be achieved. So, you know, as in how many clients do you require? What is your capacity to be able to take on those clients? And then who do you get to be in order to lead yourself so that you can actually bring in that volume of clients? And there's always a gap there, right? If something is not going the way that you want it to, there's always that gap there and how you're leading yourself. I always say any strategy will work. It depends on how you apply it. So I've shared multiple times that 
Um, when I started off my business, even though I hired multiple coaches, I didn't follow through what they were sharing with me to do. I insisted on doing it my own way. And my results showed that because there was no clients coming in. There was definitely no money coming in. So how was it going to shift? It had to shift with me and how I was leading myself. Was I willing to change how I was doing things? Was I willing to lead myself in a different way? Was I willing to be committed no matter what? Not committed to doing it my way, but being committed to the why that was in my business. Why did I set up my business in the first place? What was it that I wanted to support people with? Was I committed to that or was I committed to doing it my way? And what once I did that, that's when things started to shift. But another thing that I notice um, quite frequently with people is mindset is where a lot of people would start, which is amazing because you need to have a steely mindset in order to be able to generate results. However, they don't move past the mindset. So what I mean by that is, is that you will identify beliefs that you have that are not working for you, right? And most people start with their money beliefs. Um, what have they learned, you know, or even around confidence? What have you learned? What have you been taught? What have you made it about yourself? But then they don't shift past that. They stay in that. So you stay in the bucket. So instead of like just dipping your toes into the bucket so that you can vent and release and move forward, stay in the bucket. And what I mean by that is, is that you're constantly looking backwards. Your eyes are always on the rear view mirror, rear view mirror rather than focused ahead. So when you're on the rear view mirror, you're constantly looking at, well, what does this belief mean? Why does it keep showing up for me? Why is it still there? And the thing is, if you've done mindset work, you already know the answer to that. You know why it's there. You know why it's come up. But are you committed to moving forward? Like, where are you choosing to put your focus and your vision? Are you putting your focus in the past? Or are you putting your focus out the front window? And that's what you've got to choose. That's what leading yourself is, is not leading yourself from behind, but leading yourself from the front, not waiting to be pushed by validation, not waiting to be pushed by um, momentum, not waiting to be pushed by conditions being right, not waiting to be pushed by it being comfortable, not waiting to be pushed until you have X amount of money in the bank. It's about leading yourself forward based on where you want to go, what your goals are and what your vision is so that you can make it happen. I know I said it already at the very start of this live, but if it's to be, it's up to me. That is the most powerful sentence you can ever live and breathe by. Nobody else can make it happen because remember, nobody else is in your mind. There is nobody else in your mind, only you. That is the one thing that nobody else can infiltrate unless you let them. So think about what you're letting into your mind. What are you reaffirming? What are you making true about yourself? Like a common thing I hear my clients say is, oh, it's really hard for me to show up online. Of course it is, because you've confirmed that it is. You've affirmed that it is. Rather than saying, even though it feels scary right now, I'm committed to being online. They're very different. So notice what you're reaffirming about yourself and you're declaring to be true and then lead yourself from a, like from a grounded place and from your goal and what you want to achieve and stop looking in the rear view mirror. What's behind there is none of your business. You left it there, L leave it there and keep moving forward. Will it continue to show up? Yes, but you know that. You know that. You don't need to keep checking on it. You already know that. So keep forward focused and keep your eyes on the prize and what you want to create. And then look at how it is that you're actually going to do that. So the how is your strategy? So mindset without strategy never works. Strategy without mindset never works. Well, it will to some degree, depending on um, how productive you are. But when you put them together, that's when the beauty happens. So mindset is being committed, focused, being confident, brave. If you're not confident, be brave. If you're not confident, be bold. If you're not confident, be passionate because confidence will come when you see the results. So remember that when you're not seeing the results, you will automatically go to not feeling confident about it. So where can you go instead? Be brave, be bold, be passionate and create the results that you want in your life. You deserve them. You deserve them. We're already on the first of June, which means that the second half of the year is pretty much on us. So if the first half of the year has shown you the same results it did last year, or maybe just like even a slight bit better, or maybe they were worse, right? But if it's shown you the same, what are you going to commit to that you don't renegotiate on? You don't change it because it doesn't feel comfortable or because it's not convenient, right? 
So what are you committing to for the second half of the year so that you can have the results that you want? Instead of wishing, waiting, wanting, hoping, praying that these results come to you, remember, if it's to be, it's up to me. So who do you get to be in order to make it happen? Where are you not committed? Where are you not focused? Where are you waiting for something to be right before you will do it? And then recommit and operate from a place of commitment, passion, bold, bravery, and go make it happen. This is the beauty of it. This is how it all works. Like I said, mindset and strategy is what needs to go together in order for you to see amazing results, to combine them, put them together and lead yourself in the front. I'll see you soon.